Got him. Probably like 18, probably same size. What's going on? It's good to have you back. We're gonna get out on a flood tide today. It's been a lot of like morning and uh, evening flood tides, but it's great when they're just midday. Don't have to get up early. You got all the light you need. Jesus Christ, brighter than hell right now. And uh, yeah, fish are happy. It's kind of cooling down. It's like in the morning, probably like. I don't know, mid 70s as opposed to like 80s and humid, it's been really dry. And I've noticed from my experience that fish love when the climate changes a little bit from what it's been statically for like months, weeks, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, we're going to try that out. I'm excited to get out on the, uh, the weed eater, which has been good. I've got on a couple times this week. Been kind of a slow summer for me on, on that thing, which sucks. I feel like 2020 and 2021, I was hammering them on the paddleboard. But um, I did not have a project like I'm working on this year. So let's get out there. I got to put this thing together. I got to put the put the little cats up and uh, get on them. Stoked. Hope you guys have had a good summer. Hope you guys have been fishing. Hope you guys have been catching some waves. Hurricane Earl's out there right now just kind of churning. We'll see what comes from that. Just stoked that I'm um, going to kind of sit out there and churn without coming in, causing damage. Doing a bunch of havoc, people leaving, evacuating. That's terrible. If you've never lived on the coast, you don't know the harmful side of hurricanes and know the blessings that happen when they just kind of sit out there. So get on some waves, get on some fish. I'm gonna get out there. I'll see y'all in the water. Got him. Ooh, thank God. Not one fish to cooperate. Jesus. Not a bad one. Little one, whatever. You guys saw that exactly what we were looking for. A little tailor in the, in the grass flats. Nothing special, probably like 18. But he sucked down that little tan shrimp. It's been tough out here for me. It's nice to get one to cooperate. See ya. Was a
Ooh, another good one. Cruising. Got spirit. I actually got a good strip set on that one too. I think that's what separates that one from the rest. Number two, another little, probably like 18, probably same size on the same little like tan shrimp. This thing crushes them. But then I've had a couple turndowns when it gets caught up on like reeds and stuff. Let's let him go. That was sick. Number two, I'm gonna lift a fish. Probably gone like two for eight right now, which isn't the best odds, but it'll be all right. Better two than none, right? I was about to not come out. But you know, we're gonna have like two, maybe three more months of happy fish in the grass, and then it's gonna switch back to, you know, low tide or finicky high tide, which I'm fine with, but I'm just milking the rest of these beautiful summer days. It's incredible. It's calm. There's a little breeze, but not enough to like chop it up. It's great. Let's get another one. There's plenty more out here, honestly. I don't know um, what's going on. It's like a full moon. It was like two nights ago, but midday, it's about, it's 1130. It's about to be like sun highest in the sky, but they're eating shit. Holy crap. He did not like that. Jesus. Story of the day. Always something, man. Talk about steady. You can almost do one foot on the cooler. Look at that. Oh, f dude. I gotta stop doing that. Really breaking my own rule. It's crazy. Win some, you lose some. I'm gonna check one more flat and then probably call it, but I'd be able to get out of here before work. Oh, that was sick. Could have gone better, could have gone worse. I think what's really important is how much I wasn't uh, letting the fly sit. I was like stripping the fly at redfish, and that's just never a good idea. But whatever. Um, happy to get on out on this thing a couple times this week. Um, 
got a couple projects coming to a close just as summer's kind of coming to a close it's like mid-september and uh we got a few more months of flood tides but i'm looking forward to winter i'm looking forward to like cool water even though shit, this is just like this is like a dream come true i love this life i fish alone a lot of the time so like a boat just wouldn't be the same to me It'd be a lot more work to like carry it around and stuff but glad to see a couple of them ate a couple smallies but um i didn't really see any big fish up here which is like kind of i guess out of the ordinary but it's like coming up on 1 p.m. And I always think like midday is pretty tough on redfish and the ones that get old are the smart ones. And uh, they usually know better than to get up where like eagles can see them and ospreys and all that good stuff. But I hope you guys have had a good summer. This fall and winter is gonna be so sick. I've been guiding a lot. I've been working on a rental property a lot and it has definitely put me a little behind as far as YouTube goes. but. Been getting some surf, Hurricane Earl sent some good stuff, so gotta be thankful for that. And you gotta be thankful for days like this. I don't care what happens or, you know, how many fish I catch. This is just like what fuels me and what fills my cup. So thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Um, I'll be back on with some more like low tide stuff. And we got like flood tides for the next like three weeks straight. And I think they go from like morning till night but it's a good kind of ender. And then we got, you know, fall coming up. We got the Charleston fly. I'm not sure if I'm gonna compete in that this year. I got a, a few things going on that I need to make sure like deals go through. Um, and then we have like a three day uh, camping charter with this group coming down from like New York, Austin, uh, Danny and myself are taking like six people out for like three day three full days that's going to be at the end of october so as long as it doesn't intersect the charleston fly i'll definitely be competing so keep fishing get out on the water take a deep breath and i will see you next time I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test and yeah. Respect nothing less, so check is on chest I'm never that yeah. Then I'm a tangible weapon, no coming in second This life is a lesson, he got a new engine from pain That's a blessing, new focus, no guessing Just hold an obsession, I'm in his possession You got the retention, I'll leave an impression And take your redemption, just kill no discretion Your mind is a weapon, 11, 11, it's time for progression oh. You try to play, but you never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy You can't stand from the people who deceive me Audience break through the chains, go free People like sheep, go feed, hurt it easy You don't want to be fast asleep when you sleep Better stand up, ready for a fight, believe me When they try to change, you can say no, free me So he's been looking for somebody who can save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them Staying on pace, running the race Life is a chase, I don't want a place I want to be first, work till it hurts Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse oh, High ambitions in the right mind can take you so